Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMode. In this video we're going to simplify this interesting algebra problem 2 to the 20 power minus 36. And on the first side the worst way to solve it is to raise this 2 to the 20th power which is so long. But I want to show you a real good trick how to solve it. Take a look. This 2 to the 20 power we can write as 2 to the 10 power and to the second power. If we raise it we multiply these bases and it will have the same. So we just can write this as 2 to the 10 power square. And minus this 36, we all know that 36 is a really good number because this is a perfect square, we can write it as 6 square. And take a look what we're going to do in our case. We have difference of squares and we need to know a formula. If we have a square minus b square, so two numbers, difference of two numbers with the second power, we can write it as a minus b and times a plus b. So split it into an identity. This is our a. 2 to the 10th power is our a, and this is our our b. So let's let's use this formula. We will have 2 to the 10th power minus 6, and 2 to the 10th power plus plus 6. So what are we going to do next? We need to know a really good case. The 10 2 to the 10th power equal to 1024. It's really good to know it. I think a lot of students know it, but if you don't know, remember this or learn this. This is really good to know. In IT, I, I think that everyone knows this. So, let's simplify this. This is not a huge number, so we can write it as 1024 minus 6 times 1024 plus 6. And it's not hard to, to calculate this. From here we will have 1018, and from here we have times 1000 and and 30. So we have a product. So as you can see our this this question goes to this to this product. How can you how can you find this product? Take a look. The best way to solve it we can express this 1018 as 1000 plus 18. And right here in the same way 1000 plus plus 30. So we just express this 1018 as right here and 1030. I hope you understand it. We just express as a sum of two. And now take a look. It's really good to multiply these two parentheses because we will have a really, really easy multiplication, multiplication operation. We will have 1000 times 1000. This is the first. Take a look right here. We have plus 30,000 plus 30 times 1000. So this is and plus 18 times 1000 and plus 18 times 30. So I just multiply parentheses by parentheses. But take a look, we'll have really interesting case because 1000 times 1000, we all know this. I write it as 1 million. 1000 right here, 1 million. So I write it as in that way. Take a look, 30 times 1000 will be 30,000 plus 18,000 will be 48, 48,000. So 48 and 0, 0, 0. And 18 times 30, 18 times 3 will be 54, so plus 5, 4, 0. And if you add all of these, all of these values, so addition, addition, I just add all rows at, at once, we will have 1 million, right here we'll have 48,000, and 5, 4, 0, which is, which is our answer. So if you still have any question, write a question in the comment. Write your suggestion, comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.